Um, I'm gonna have to pick you apart again in some other way. Okay. Um, so practice with hitting the ball is going really well, right? Yeah. So um, let's see. How often do you pull out training mode? Uh, not very often. Not very often. Yeah. See, I know. I already know that yeah. because uh, because of what we went through earlier. So uh, I told you and Sego I'd have a different lesson for you at the end. Right. Because I'm going, I'm going overboard. I'm giving, I'm giving two lessons because I can because I love well, teaching. Let's go. Um, yeah. Uh, so let's play this set and then I'll have something else for you. Okay. It might be small. It's probably going to be a smaller deal, but okay. I'll have something else for you. But let's just do a best two out of three. We're just going to give it 100% of what we've got. Okay. Let's go in for it. Sounds good. Yeah. I may not even have anything extra for you at all. It just depends on what I think that uh, you need to hear as a growing player. Okay. Because if I if I if I taught my students too much too quickly, this happened in guitar. Yeah. They wouldn't have time to digest and process like what what I just tried to teach. So okay. like, I'd just be throwing things at them and it would just kind of bounce off. So. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I'm player one. There you go. All right, so give me everything you've got. Right. We're going for a real best of three. Okie dokie. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Oh. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. You good? Yeah. I'm, good. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right. Yep. I can see that you're practicing. I, I can see that you're using your new tech, your new tech in these matches. Yep. Keep doing it. I told you it's going to be bad before it's going to be good, but right. keep doing it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't really care about the results of these sets, but it is recorded. So. Right. Yeah. Just because I'm hitting you with the ball and dealing a couple of extra, extra damage. Right. Right. It's going to be bad before it's going to be good. Right. You keep doing it. Keep figuring out where it, where it works, where it doesn't work. Things will click. So I'll ban uh, FD and I'll ban Lilat. Okay. Let's do Tom. Okay.
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's another idea. Have you ever looked at your character's frame data? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Do you know it? I know, like, some of it. You know how fast your forward air comes out? Because that's a really fast move. OK. Yeah. I, w I would yeah, I would want to know what frame that forward air comes out. OK. So like, I, I, I know the frame data for every single one of Mario's moves, yeah, except for slow right ones, now. like cape yeah, yeah. or flood. I don't know the frame data on flood. But the OK. But like, um, so like, there's like some really important metrics uh, on frame data, um, such as uh, uh, sex kicks. They they yeah. virtually all come out on three. Okay. Jabs virtually all come out on two or three. Yeah. Except for Zero Suit Samus, who for yeah. some reason comes out on one. So weird. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Marth forward air, Marth neutral air. Those both come out on uh, six, I believe. Um, Mario's up air, back air. Those are five. Right. So like, you kind of learn some things. You just use those as like elevation points to determine, well, how fast is my character's moves by judging how fast other characters' moves are, right. kind of setting like a template. Like, if my, if someone's doing this, then I, this moves really Because when I found out that Marth's Nair comes out on frame six and Marth's Fair come out on frame six, I realized, wait, Nair is a better punish option when they're right in front of me. I can hit them with the tipper and it combos into stuff. Right. Um, so, like, that was some pretty cool stuff that I only knew because I looked at the frame data okay. kind of stuff. So that's another thing you can do. Um, but yeah, I mean, to, to, for you to improve quickly at this game, I would, uh, I would definitely practice the things you don't like to practice. Okay. Yeah, I know it's a video game, I know it's super fun, but the amount of time that you put into the less fun stuff, like yeah. studying and just going into training mode, is going to propel your gameplay like whoosh if okay. you choose to, to practice that. Okay. Think of it just like the stuff you do for school, like you have to study for an exam. Yeah literally study for Smash. You don't have to study as hard as you study for your exams. Okay. Right? I assure you, your exams are more important. But <laughs> put some time into actual study for the game. Okay. Uh, I, I recommend it.